So now that we have downloaded data, we have cleaned it, we have modeled it, now we're ready to do the easy part, the visualization part. So let's kill this visualization we created earlier. Let's click on a scatter chart. And then in the scatter chart, we have a bunch of things here. First off, we need like an x-axis. So for the x-axis I did in the video, I had number of, I had uh, aid received per person. So let's go ahead and grab that and we'll make that the x-axis. And then for the y-axis, I had number of deaths, and we'll put that as the y-axis. For the play axis, I used year, so we'll do that for the play axis. For the, I did the country axis as the legend, and I did HIV prevalence for the bu bubble size. Now, if we go ahead and draw and make this really big so we can kind of see it, what you'll also see is that we've got way too much data here. We've got from like 1979 all the way to the front. So what I can do is I can create a filter. And we can do like page level filters here or visual level filters. So for visual level filters, I'm going to say that I want the year to be, we'll just say 91 through 90, um, 91, 92, 93, 94. We'll go all the way to current year. So 95, 96, 97. Click all these. Click all these. And now we've got all of our years. We also might have just way too many countries, too. So one way that we can filter countries is we can do it based on HIV prevalence. So we can say, please give it to me when it's greater than three and apply that filter. And now that's it. Now that we've done those things, we can just go ahead and click play. And we can see the bubbles kind of move back and forth. Now, you might like more information there. So we can use text labels if you'd like. So if we click here, some of the things that I like, kind of like to do, I like the border colors. I think it makes the categories stronger. I like border labels too. Um, and now let's try playing that and see if that improved it. Yep, there's our border labels. Um, there's the border all the way around it. So I think it gives more distinct value. If you want to see the trend, then we can stop it when we see something that we think might be interesting. And we can click a button and we can see the trend line going here. And that's it. Now we've created a playable scatter chart. Hopefully that helps you create your playable scatter chart. Thanks. Have a great day.